Shehu S. Fada is a 51-year-old former leprosy victim from Zamfara State. He contacted the virus at the age of 8 and even after its cure, now lives without both hands. I wanted to, you know, stop my education. My parents said no. I have to do all what I can in order to get, uh, you know, education because I don't know what I will be in future. Shehu is among the beneficiaries of this information communications technology training in Abuja which seeks to empower some members of the people living with disability from across the country. Oftentimes, the society do neglect these people, okay, and if we harness uh, the talents embedded in these people, I can tell you that uh, we can get the right um, set of people that we quality make the positive change that we're talking about in our country. I've been fulfilled and happy that we started it and we'll be able to complete it. And more importantly, the success story shared with us by one of the, uh, the people that participated last year. The participants all admit the training is a worthwhile venture. I really learned a lot. Uh, by the grace of God, the laptop they gave to us, I'll be able to make do with it because by design, I mean by using it to design a website for individuals or a corporate body. You understand? And at the same time, I will be gainfully employed with that. Now I can open computer, I can close computer. If I go to any business center or myself, if computer is having problem, I can start somewhere to trace the fault because of this um, program. I, this is a historic date to me, or to all people affected by leprosy. Because, you know, we have problems of fingers. So, thank God that there are a lot of things that we learn. That even if you don't have fingers, you can operate computer without any problem. Shea and his colleagues were ecstatic and also went home with a free laptop as a startup gift. They say if initiatives like this continue, then the 25.5 million Nigerians living with disability will not have much to complain in the future. From Abuja, Amadin Uyi, STV News.